here we have two hollow rollers shown in blue and they are pressed together with help of the red and green roller inside them so that when one starts rolling it transfers the motion to the other through friction the good part is the two rollers can maintain a fixed velocity ratio so there is a smooth transfer of motion but the downside is if the load is high then the friction can let us down so there could be slip so we are trying to solve this problem that how to keep the good part the velocity ratio and yet get a positive engagement how to avoid slip for that we are going to take all these four rollers and make them roll without slip and then take a point on the red circle and trace its path such a path traced by a point on a circle rolling inside another without slip is called a hypocycloid next we take our tracing point and transfer it to this green circle it traces a path like this and since it is a path traced by a point on a circle rolling outside another circle uh, without slip it is called as an apicycloid so now we have a curve made up of hypocycloid and apicycloid now we must keep in mind that both these curves the hypo and apicycloid are traced relative to this circle we could have done the same with the other circle also and since we would have used the same tracing point both these curves would have originated at the same point and therefore they will always make a contact the difference would be what is inside of this circle is outside of the other one so what is hypocycloid here would make a contact with apicycloid of the other one and vice versa let us take a look at such curve or pair of curves over here we have them so the red one is hypocycloid it is engaging with the apicycloid of the other circle and this is apicycloid it would be engaging with the others hypocycloid let's see how they move so this is how they make a contact and what is shown in purple is called as the path of contact that is how the contact point moves here we are transferring the motion not using friction but using the force of contact or the normal reaction one shape or profile is physically pushing on to the other and therefore there is no chance of any slip finally we put in the last piece and that is while doing all this all the rollers were engaging with each other with constant velocity ratio so the profiles that we have got are not only going to give us a positive a definite engagement but they will also give us a constant a steady velocity ratio uh, of course these profiles are tailor made for each other they are matched they are paired up and therefore they are called conjugate profile as if they are married to each other so epicycloid and a hypocycloid are conjugate profiles conjugate profiles help us get the best of both worlds they give us the positive engagement of a cogwheel and they also give us the smooth velocity transfer of friction rollers in short we have cooked up a gear and because we are using ap and hypocycloidal profiles this kind of gearing is called cycloidal gears lastly let us see one unique advantage of cycloidal gearing and that is they can give us a minimum number of teeth as low as 2 and here is one special application the gear pump here these two are really two cycloidal gears with just two teeth each and they engage with each other such that the space between them 
get successively squeezed and expanded to drive some fluid especially fluids which can't be sucked because of their low uh, vapor pressure can be pushed like this.